Let's talk about shopping in the Philippines. I do have to caveat though that most of these items, if not all, are fashion items. Beautifully crafted, unique fashion items from my homeland. So why buy Filipino products? Obviously, outside of the pride that you'd get from carrying these beautiful products, they are quite unique, especially if you are from overseas. They are made from different materials that are native to the Philippines, and the designs are very different as well, and carries that Filipino culture. I will guarantee you that it is an attention grabber. Being unique, you will always get asked, Ooh, that's beautiful. Where did you get that from? Like every brand, there's always a story behind it. It's all inspiring, heartwarming, and resilient stories. When you buy Filipino products, most of them are handcrafted or handmade by Filipino artisans in the Philippines. And most of them are women. Women who would otherwise not have a source of income. You will see how intricate these products are and I can't wait to show you them and they are truly impressive. Let me show you some of my favorite brands and stores from the Philippines. Starting off with, ooh, with Zara One. Zara One has been in my radar for a while, but due to COVID, I couldn't travel to the Philippines. So I have been waiting patiently to buy my first Zara One bag. I think I got a bit way too excited though. As you can see, there are a few things here with me I bought seven bags from them. I definitely did not intend to buy seven from them, nor did I intend to buy a horse and a carabao bag. They're all very unique and quirky pieces that brings back a lot of memories, like see this old school TV and this old school phone. It just brings you back the joys. I, I mean, I never really had to use the old school TV, but I do remember my grandma's house had this and I would I would play with it and I think we act, it was still working and I actually got to use it. I'm revealing my age there a little bit, but it just brings you so much happiness when you use it and when you see it. They're also quite symbolic to our to the Philippines heritage. You've got a horse in here which is basically a kalesa we call it or is a uh, it's used for a house carriage or a carabao here on my left, which is our farming animal that up to this day, I believe some of our farmers are still using them to plow rice fields. You would think that they are quite impractical, but they actually surprisingly have a lot of space. That big belly right there of that carabao can fill up a lot of my, my daily things that I would bring to, to work even. Yes, I would use this at work for sure. I do have to admit though that this one isn't. This is probably the one that does, does not take up, uh, that you can't put in a lot of space inside. Actually, any bag that has this kind of flip open, you can't really put a lot of stuff in. Like even right now, it's with the strap and the dust bag, it's struggling to, to close well. And you also need to be careful in closing this one because it snaps like without the stuffing inside i'll show you see and it could get quite it's it's magnet so it could definitely hurt you and it did it did hurt me so you got to be careful it's made out of wicker so you can see all those little flexible twigs that's what a wicker is and it's mostly used in furniture it is also likely made out of rattan, which is common in the Philippines. So when you see them in a furniture, it's actually one of the oldest ways of making furniture dating back 5,000 years ago. The fabrics are hand-woven, so you'll see it. All the linings are fabric. The, uh, the carabaos, I don't know what you call this, but this thing. The detailing here of the jeepneys and the pedicabs. So anything that has fabric that is hand woven as well by the artisans in the Philippines. They are hand woven as well from weavers from Cavite, Abra, Benguet, or Bulacan. These are all provinces in the Philippines. The straps are 100% leather. So it does come with a strap. So it's mostly cloth, but it has leather detail in there. And obviously the clasp as well. And it also comes with a sanitizer pouch, which I actually don't use. So when the strap, you can 
clip design and it actually comes with a bottle as well i don't really use it because the sanitizer bottle that i use do not quite fit in it but you do get this when you buy any of their bag that comes with a strap it comes in different color like this would come in red black every piece comes in different colors and the straps in different colorways as well they also have simpler designs if these ones are a bit way too out there for you there's definitely something that you can look at as well so check out their store and their store online they are in rockwell their main one and also in greenbelt 5. i checked both their stores and they're both just simply mind-blowing their price points range from about 3950 pesos to about 11,000 pesos 11 and a half 11,000 which is a hundred to hundred 100 to 300 Australian dollars or 70 to 200 USD and for what you get they are definitely worth every peso or dollar not a single stranger has stopped me on the street complimenting my Chanel bag but when I use any any of my Zara one piece 99% of the time and I say 99% probably 100% someone will say something or someone will at least look at it like literally a stranger would stop me on the street everywhere i go someone would compliment it because it is just such a beautiful work of art and for an in-depth review as well you can watch my unboxing here for every piece of zara one another bag brand aranas aranas has been around since 1999 this it's my first Aranas bag from quite a long time ago. It's actually a bit sun damaged now, but this is my first piece from them. Their design is more on the island vibe, but still very colorful and fun. It exudes that luxury living and leisure type of lifestyle. So you can see from these designs, I wasn't planning on buying any Aranis bags during my last trip, but then I saw this bag on display and next minute, we bought five bags. One of them for my mother-in-law, thank goodness, not me, not, not all mine. They are made out of abaca, so it is a banana species that is native to the Philippines. You can see a lot of these are made out of that material. Other materials as well, like this one, is raffia and of course, wicker as well, which they don't, I actually don't have any bags here, but the one that I got for my mother-in-law, which I might show you a photo of, is made out of wicker as well. I bought a lot of that smaller bucket style bag and don't feel like you are limited in wearing this during your you know when you're in a resort in a beach summer island holidays if you wear it in the city it's like almost an escape from it and i do i wear it now it's it's still well it's now autumn here in australia but during summer and for autumn i could still wear this for sure the price point seems to be a bit more expensive when you check their online store and when i select aud i just really don't worry they're like there are five to seven hundred australian dollars when you check them online and i definitely do not think i paid for that much maybe it has shipping fee who knows but do check them in store as well to see that if you like them they have more stores than zara one i went to their greenbelt 5 store and they also have one in rockwell but they also have sm aura they are in a few places now if my memory serves me right their price point isn't too far off from zara one in fact they could go even cheaper because they have smaller bags like this one which starts from about you can get something from four thousand and there are some really expensive ones all the way to twelve thousand pesos and again for an in-depth review you can watch my unboxing up here for the rest of the aranas products and in-depth review of each of them next up katatubo pop-up market it's another one that i have been following on instagram patiently during covid and waiting for that next trip back home so i can get my hands on their items i have to admit though that i was a bit disappoint disappointed and you can watch the full video here when we visited them because i suppose i've been waiting for it for so long so when i got there my expectations were wild i mean don't get me wrong it's still great 
and a testament to that is I bought quite a fair amount of things from them, way too much, way too many, but it is actually quite a small space. They have plenty of clothing, definitely majority clothing. They have homeware, decor, and food as well. So the buying process is that you go to Bench Tower, so it is a pop-up, so you have to follow them on Instagram to check out the dates they are on. And I think they are regularly on now as well, probably every other month. But do check that out, their account. I will link that down below. So you go to the Bench Tower, you walk in, you have a look at the stalls. It's underground, it's in the basement. It's not that big. And every time you buy something, they give you a some sort of docket. And then once you've done all of that, you go pay for them. There's those, there's like one singular cashier for everyone. And once you've paid them, you go back to collect. So make sure you remember what you bought, but then as long as you're holding the docket, you know at least that you haven't collected anything yet. Obviously, these are Filipino designers, very beautiful items with wide range. However, I did find that it's quite repetitive and very expensive. My favorite piece though, which I'm going to show you, is a men's shirt but I wear it, yeah. So this is actually a, I've worn it already. So it's from, it's called PQLA because it's Paolo Quijones, I think, and their store is in LA. So this is a men's barong. Barong is a uh, traditional Filipino formal wear. And this one in particular is made out of piña silk, so pineapple silk, and it's got all these cute little patches. I wore this to the office and just wore a, black crop top and then this over it with a high waist formal pants it's dry clean only as you can see i've had it dry cleaned already so it's a bit high maintenance i have to admit but very cute the clothing are around the 200 dollar mark australian dollars i believe this one eight was eight thousand pesos and the jewelry are around a hundred dollar more so you can see some of them in here so these are the earrings that i bought the designer himself was in there and he was very helpful i bought about five to six pieces from this place it was really cute and you can again watch my unboxing in here to look at every item that i got from them it's a good place if you like fashion because it's all in one place and that's what they specialize on but i did manage to get some little knickknacks as well it was during christmas time when we visited and look at all these cute little Christmas deco. I still have the tag on this one, but it's a parol, which is a very common Christmas ornament in the Philippines, and it's very cushiony. I've had this on my list for a while. They have different sizes and colors, and again, a horse paper mache. You cannot not go to Cultura when you visit the Philippines. It's in every SM mall in the Philippines, which is pretty much everywhere. SM is the largest mall chain in the Philippines and their tagline is, we've got it all for you. And boy, do they deliver. Cultura has everything Filipino, from traditional clothing, t-shirts, jewelry, pearls, bags, home decors, and homewares and food. Price is competitive and I'm sure you can find them cheaper elsewhere, but what you're paying here for is convenience. They are all in one place, perfectly curated and sourced for you. Staff is always smiling and very happy to help the ladies that helped me out. These are just some of the things. I bought so many from them and we were running out of time, but they were very patient and very helpful as well. You will be overwhelmed with choice. Ah! You will be overwhelmed with choices, which is a good thing sometimes because it's it's very neat. It's not like there are a lot of stuff that is disorganized. It is still very organized and not busy at all and easy to navigate. I usually buy jewelry and bags from them and I visit and I say I visit every time I go back to the Philippines. I showed everything in this video up here for everything that I bought from Cultura, but these are some of them. And as you can see, most of them are beautiful pieces of pearl and beaded jewelry. It's so uniquely Filipino and very accessible. If you can only go to one of these stores that we're talking about here, make it Cultura. It's a perfect one-stop shop for souvenirs and make sure that you get something for yourself as well. I first discovered Heijo, 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 I'm not sure. I think it is Heijo 
in the Arana store in Greenbelt 5. They do not have a physical store, but they do have an online store, which I will link down below as well. They are the perfect match for your Arana's bags. For people that like layering the, their jewelry, then this place is for you because you don't have to think about it. They all come in layered pieces. They have definitely mastered this. I mean, they all go together. I mean, I grabbed it from my <laughs> necklace stand and they kind of lost its placing, but all of them still go well together. It is quite pricey though. So every set is roughly 3,000 pesos plus each. So you're looking at about 80 Australian dollars or 50 USD, which in comparison to Cultura, which is only roughly from 500 to 1,000 are definitely on the cheaper side. This jewelry though will draw your attention. It definitely caught mine as I was there. I almost emptied their rack. I had to stop myself because they are quite expensive. They're very vibrant and colorful. I got the, a lot of these turquoise color ones, but if you look at their site and Instagram, there are so many beautiful pieces. It just oozes with confidence if you put it on. It just exudes that island vibe confidence for sure. What I also like about their jewelry is they use a matte gold chain, which is similar to the Zara one hardware as well. I don't know if you can see it there. I've never seen that before and I quite like it. The materials are from all over the world, which also takes in per inspiration from the owner's own travels. Next one, pick a pearl. Now this one is a fun place to shop and the only one that is not in Manila in this list. It is in Koron, Philippines, and because of that, we're obviously going to talk about pearls. It's called Pika Pearl because for 1,000 pesos, or less than 30 Australian dollars, or roughly $20 USD, you can pick your own pearl from a jar of imperfect pearl. So to speak and they can turn it into whatever that you want i mean don't get me wrong they could be imperfect but you could be in in luck and just be patient and picking your one the ladies are so helpful as well and very smiley and they would turn it into anything that you want so i did oh i did it for one of them as you can see this is a bracelet it's a south sea pearl quite decent size and they turned it into a bracelet the bracelet is actually more expensive than the pearl in this instance. <laughs> they make it right then and there. The, it's really impressive to watch them drill through the pearl and turn it into a wearable piece. I also bought this other pearl, which is a better looking one. It's a gold South Sea pearl. Just look at that color. The only downside here is the chains or the bracelet chains. They're not real leather or they're not real gold as well. So at some point that could potentially tarnish. Hence, they are cheaper than Jewelmer. Jewelmer. Oh my God. Jewelmer has been on my wish list. It's an international luxury brand that specializes in South Sea Pearl. They farm from their own pearl farms in Palawan, Philippines. The Philippines golden South Sea Pearl are so unique with its natural color. It's, oh, I'm wearing one actually. The, the color is just so unique, the, the thickness of it and the luster as well. The South Sea Pearls can only be found in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Australia. They are the most valuable pearl in the market because of its size. My dream is this. I'll try to find a photo. <laughs> this choker is just divine. I saw Heart Evangelista wear one. I don't know which brand or whatever it is, but it looked amazing. And I actually inquired because I saw something similar at Jewel Mar in their Shangri-La Fort store. And it's like $250,000 US. That's a lot. I don't think I'll be ever be comfortable paying or wearing something that expensive. They have stores globally, but a few of them are obviously in the Philippines. They have one in Greenbelt 5 where I bought my pieces. They have one in Rockwell as well and Shangri-La 4. Do check out their store because there are a few of them in the country. I think they have one at Manila Pen as well. I knew that in my next trip to the Philippines, I was going to splurge and buy my first Jewelmer piece. I saw Catriona. So she won the Miss Universe, I don't know how many years ago. 
and I saw her wearing this piece. So beautiful. It, it's just, look how simple it is, yet so elegant and sexy all at the same time. I have to admit, it is kind of hard to wear because it tends to look good with a low with a low neckline. I also wanted this golden Palawan bird pendant, but it's actually more expensive than this one. Just look how playful and beautiful it is. I had a look at it, but it was just way, it was way too much. So, but the ladies, the ladies managed to upsell me a simple ring. I wanted a simple stud as well, but I just couldn't find the right size that I wanted but they managed to upsell me this beautiful ring. It's just an 18K gold band and another South Sea pearl in there. Look how perfect these pearls are. It's just divine. It's what really sets Jewel, Jewel Mer apart. The quality is just up there. Now I just need Paspaley <laughs> and have pearls for my two homes, Australia and the Philippines. Well, how was that? I hope I was able to help you shortlist your shopping stops in the Philippines. If you have any questions about shopping in the Philippines, let me know in the comments. I am your girl. Do like the video and comment below as well because it will help the video reach more audience. And join us on Instagram and TikTok for daily updates as well. If you enjoyed that, watch the rest of our Philippines Season 1 playlist next. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See ya.